on the track, we are ready for the men's 800 meters. The world record held by Sebastian Coe, now a member of parliament in Great Britain. The American mark by a man in this field, Johnny Gray. Now, the last time an American won the Olympic 800 meters, the man in the hat that ran from the back, Dave Waddle, 1972 in Munich, Germany. He beat Arshinov of the Soviet Union. I can remember the call that race. It was like, now he's third and he's second. And, and everybody went nuts. And this man got a bronze medal here in Barcelona, Bob. And, of course, is Johnny Gray. There is Tony Perea out of Tennessee. He will start in lane one. In lane two will be Mark Everett. He's finished second to Gray at the last two Olympic trials. Lane three will be Sean Benefield wearing the U.S. World Championship team. He's from Athens, Georgia, the University of Georgia, just up the road. He'll have a lot of fans in the stands here tonight. In lane four, Rich Kana, who looked great in winning his semifinal at 144.90. That's his personal best ever. In lane five, Johnny Gray. Happy birthday, Johnny. 36 today in his fifth Olympic trials, looking for a spot on the team. To his right in lane six, Brandon Rock out of Fayetteville, Arkansas was unbeaten during the indoor season but has been struggling outdoors due to illness and injury in lane seven todd black out of ohio who ran another lifetime best 146 16 in his semifinal. and out in lane eight the head coach of the university of tulsa in his fourth olympic trials 35 year old stanley redwine There is Brandon Rock, who you mentioned has been struggling with injuries after a brilliant year last year. His time has dropped, you know, from over two minutes two years ago. Actually, it's almost three years ago now, but he's had a tremendous improvement since he's gone down to the University of Arkansas and ran 144 plus and finished fifth in the World Championships last year in Sweden. And there's the man. I teased him about his little goatee, his little beard there. And I said, do you use hair coloring? He said, yeah, how do you know? <laughs> 36 years of age today. No athlete has ever done at 800 meters what he's done, save maybe Mike Boyd. And Boyd said, I don't know what my age is. I think I'm this old. But Johnny is 36 today and running 16 of the 20 fastest 800-meter races by an American in history. Behind him is Kana. When Gray is feeling right, he likes Bob to go out and take the lead. Let's see what happens off this first turn. And I think he's answering the question right there. He's looking well down the backstretch as he cruises the first turn. Johnny Gray will break for the pole now. He likes about a 50-second first 400 meters in championship races, maybe even a tad faster. Brandon Rock and Rich Kana right there. Turns three and four for the first time. Be interesting to see what Kana does if he stays this close through the first 400 meters. He's had a great kick down the home stretch. This is the man we're talking about and has looked terrific in his heats. There's the big four up there. Mark Everett way out of it. It looks in last in fourth place right now is Perea within striking distance. Three make the team. Everyone else goes home. Well under 60 seconds at the first 400 meters. Johnny Gray continues to lead. 50.25 seconds, and it's Gray out there. Rock struggling. Kana back in third. Look at the lead for Johnny Gray at age 36, drawing away from a field of America's best. Kana now moves around to make his bid for second place. And here comes Tony Perea running up from fourth. This one is far from over. Perea heads out into lane two. He'll come off the turn on Kana's shoulder. Rock is on the inside. And now they begin to draw up on the leader, Johnny Gray. It is Gray, Rock, Kana, and Perea shoulder to shoulder. Both cannot advance. Kana backs off. Perea has made the Olympic team in third. The time, one minute, 44 seconds flat. The fastest time in the world is 143.95. Second fastest in the world this year by that man. Kana misses out by about a few strides, really, as Perea, for the third Olympics in a row, this man comes from behind and just by the smallest of margins, nails down the third spot at 800 meters. Being congratulated by Sean Benefield, Johnny Gray, and Brandon Rock. What a long road Rock has come to get here. He had a lot of reasons to doubt himself coming into these trials, and now he is an Olympian.
the question this man may ask himself for a while is did I go out a little too hard I don't have great 400 meter speed and he stayed with him and laying off the pace a man with much more 400 meter speed was Perea and he had a lot left down that last straightaway that's Perea in the glasses moving to Kana's shoulder off the corner at this point it looked like it might be Kana and Perea for the second and third spots but as they came to the line Kana just ran out of gas well I think he tightened up really Bob in those last 400 meters and if you go out too fast on a two-lap race like this, boy, you die down the home stretch a bit. He gave it everything, but he could see he couldn't catch Perea in those last four or five strides. Jubilation from Brandon Rock, exhaustion from Jose Perea. Johnny Gray, well, what can you say about the Methuselah of 800-meter running? There he is on his victory lap, and here are the unofficial results. Gray, Rock, and Perea are the U.S. Olympic team in the men's 800.